I'm back. Oh my gosh, I missed you guys. You guys are probably mad at me. Please don't be mad at me. After a much needed break, reflection, all of those good things, I am so excited to come back better than ever, create content for you guys, just have some fun with you guys. So glad you're here. I thought the best way to just kickstart this journey again would be to do a Q&A. There's a lot of new faces here, so I thought that'd be perfect. It'd be so fun. You guys sent over so many questions over on Instagram and we're gonna answer some. We're gonna sit down, we're gonna chat, all the things, we're gonna catch up. If you're not already following me on Instagram, you can head on over there. Just, it's easier to connect over there. We post lifestyle stuff, reels, fashion, all the fun things. And if you're new on this channel, hello, you're joining me as I'm joining. And if you'd like to be a part of the family, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that bell so you never miss an upload because there'll be so many more. But thank you to everyone who sent in questions and let's get right into it. All right, we're gonna start out with some relationship questions because as you guys know, I'm engaged. Right before I went on a break, I posted that video, this video, I'm engaged, yeah. Um, so that's awesome. So you guys sent in some questions about Wyatt, about both of us. So let's start out with that. So let's see. We'll just start out with how did you meet Wyatt? So Wyatt and I met in college. We both played drop-in volleyball. So there was like a co-ed fun like rec team for volleyball and we met there um we had mutual friends and we became really good friends through volleyball and now we're getting married <laughs> do you and wyatt know each other's love languages yes so my love language is quality time and acts of service so i just love spending time with Wyatt like I just love spending time with people and then I really love like when they do things for me I guess and then also I also love gift giving so Wyatt is a physical touch and then he also likes acts of service he likes serving others that's like a love language for him is serving so that's kind of where we both relate in that sense is we love giving and we love serving others in that way do you want kids someday yes okay i have always wanted twins and twins do run in the family so i'm like okay maybe i have a chance to have twins but i kind of want i want even numbers i either want like two or four because then there's pairs and if you ever go like on a roller coaster or anything, you always have a buddy, like buddy system, you know? So even numbers for kids, I think for sure. Doesn't that sound great? I know. <laughs> All right, how long have you believed in God? So I'd say I have believed in God and known who he was probably pretty much my whole life. I grew up in a Christian home, but I didn't take my faith and relationship with God seriously until like college. So I've always like known who he is, but I didn't pursue a relationship with him, a personal relationship with him and really surrender and give him my life until I'd say probably college. How do you stay strong in faith if you ever feel low about yourself? This is hard because usually when we feel low or anxious or fearful or anything, like we just are not feeling great, you know? You are gonna wanna like curl up, you're gonna wanna not do anything, you're gonna just really shut down. So I've started, so I've started to create like a system of things and Wyatt and I have talked about this too of like what's a list of things that we can do when we feel that that are already ready to go like if you have some verse cards if you have a chapter in your Bible like bookmarked if you have a worship playlist ready to go if you have those things ready to go when you feel at your lowest then you're more likely to turn to God because they're ready to go because when you're feeling low when your self-esteem's low when you're sad, all the things, you're not going to want to do anything. So if everything's set up for you to succeed and turn to God and rest with him, that's going to help you so much. Also, I've started to recognize like what's from God and what's from the enemy. So this feeling that you're feeling is not from God. God doesn't want you to feel low. God doesn't want you to not love yourself, like all these things. So these negative feelings and negative speech that you're having in your brain is from the enemy. So surrendering those thoughts. And also I like to recognize God is a God of growth and change. 
So he's always going to like carry you through something for a reason so that you can grow and change and evolve and grow closer to him. So I think that answers your question. <laughs> Did you have any type of feeling beforehand that you were going to meet Wyatt soon? So obviously long before Wyatt, I tried to date guys, talk to guys, all the things. And the funny part is right before I met Wyatt, I was in this stretch of being so happy single. I was like, it's me and God. We're doing amazing. I don't want to be in a relationship. I'm feeling great. I'm feeling content. And then Wyatt came into the picture and we were friends for a while until God told me like, give him a chance, date him, all the things. And how I knew that I was supposed to date him after really just being solid in my singleness and kind of swearing off all relationships is God really showed me how different Wyatt was and how intentional he was and very clear compared to everyone else previously that I tried to talk to. And I like to call everybody else like situationships. That would answer your question in a way of how I knew I was supposed to date Wyatt is. He was intentional, it was different. There was no confusion of intentions. How do you stay close to God when times get tough? So similar to what I said earlier is just remembering that God pulls you through seasons for a reason. Know the truth that God loves you and God wants what's best for you. And my favorite thing to think about is you're going through this hard time and going through these situations so that you can help someone else that's going to walk through that next. Like my hard season of singleness, my anxiety, my fear, all those things. I had to walk through those hardships and lean on God and trust God so that I could help all these other ladies coming after me who are struggling with that same thing. So I think if you kind of take it off of yourself of like, yes, this sucks. Yes, this is tough. But God, what are you doing in this? Because you're the good in this. You're going to pull me through this. And I know this is for a reason. This question, how to feel less attached to boys you like through life and your single season. So I had to learn this the hard way and I think God really used the situationships before Wyatt to teach me this because there was a long stretch of time where I would go through like the talking phase and then be like really great talking um, for multiple months in a row where you're like, okay, this could definitely be a relationship, right? But you like, nobody labels anything and there's like the confusion. I know you know what, what this is what this is. I know you guys have gone through this. Anyway, I, I, I'm a clinger. I get attached. I get attached to friends. I get attached to, I got attached to guys I liked, all the things. I didn't like change. And God really taught me through friendships and situationships, guys, all the things that he is the only stable thing and everything else in this life we can't get attached to. So that really helps me figure out like, okay, God can give this and God can take this away. So the real thing I need to cling to is God and everything else I need to just let pass through my fingers if that happens. But with guys and when you're single, it is very hard. But I think just letting God work within that relationship and if it grows into anything, awesome. But if it doesn't, just recognizing like, yeah, that was a great guy. I liked him, whatever. But maybe God has something better for me or we just weren't meant to date. So kind of just having that open mind, open palm lifestyle, especially when you're trying to date or you like people. All right, we're going to end it with what are you most excited about in 2023? So obviously I'm getting married. So that's very, very exciting and a huge step. And also just kind of living in my own home is incredible crazy and amazing. Um, I'm most excited to get married and I'm most excited kind of just to step into God's purpose this year because God's kind of been laying on my heart that like things need to change, habits need to change. God laid down the foundation and he did his job last year and now it's my turn to step into that and do what he's calling me to do. So I'm most excited just to see what God does. I'm excited to see how this community grows, to connect with you guys again, to just stay consistent with uploading for you guys and i'm just excited for all of you everyone seems to be on fire for 2023 and that just makes me so excited so also with you and god like there's nothing you guys can't do so keep your eyes focused on the lord and what he's calling you to do and don't let anyone else put you down 
or laugh at you or tell you you can't do something that God specifically called you to, but I love you guys. I'm so excited to continue to upload videos. We'll have another video here soon. Um, and actually, let's just pray. I'll pray you out. Let's do it. Dear God, I just thank you so much for this person watching right now. I pray that they would just feel so much joy as they look to you in all things. If they're going through a hardship, dear God, I pray that you'd give them so much courage and confidence that it's it's supernatural. They know it's from you. They know it's from the Holy Spirit, that they can walk in purpose this year, that they can be a light wherever they're called to this year, and that you just get them excited, that the enemy has no stronghold over your plans for their life, dear God, that they would know that and that they would rest in that. And if there's anything they're carrying from last year, dear God, that they can lay that at your feet today. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. I love you guys. I will see you again very soon.